What's up everybody, it's your boy R2, and today we're going to be talking some Aquaman news. I always love talking about Aquaman, and I can't wait for that film, it's so far away, but Warner Brothers is considering Noam Muro to direct Aquaman because Warner Brothers was impressed with 300 Rise of an Empire. I enjoyed 300 Rise of an Empire, and I think it would be an interesting choice of director, but my only concern is that he has mostly done commercial directing and actually has won a couple awards as best commercial director. So it'll be interesting to see how he handles Aquaman after doing a nice job directing 300 Rise of the Empire. Although it was not better than the original 300. Just had to say that. But I think with Zack Snyder behind Noam Muro as producer, it's really going to help him bring out the best in himself and in the process make an amazing Aquaman movie because all I want is just a great director with a great track record to take over Aquaman that's all I ask and also Warner Brothers would like Carl Urban to star in Aquaman in an unspecified role possibly the villain but only after Star Trek wraps up because he is in the film and I think he's an integral part of the film I'm not sure the obvious choice here is of course Ocean Master I mean look at the guy he looks just like the character and I'm pretty sure he has the chops to pull off that character. Carl Urban was in Dread so he can play a comic book character and commit to it. So I'm interested to see where this goes. Other than Ocean Master, I'm not really sure what character he can play. I read somewhere maybe he can play Aquaman's dad in a flashback but I think that would be a wasted opportunity for Warner Brothers. I mean come on, how are you gonna get a good actor like this to just play out dad in a flashback or maybe in the beginning of the movie maybe he's still alive while Aquaman is a grown man and then somehow the Atlanteans you know Orm or someone sends someone to assassinate Arthur Curry's dad so that kind of brings up a little rivalry right there a little conflict so that would be interesting to see how they take it. We don't know how it goes as of now. And as long as Carl Urban can stand toe to toe with Jason Momoa, fist to fist with Jason Momoa, I think if they have great chemistry, then I'm all for it. Bring it on, Carl Urban. Bring it on. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. How would you feel about Noam Muro as director for Aquaman? All you Aquaman fans, how would you feel about Noam Muro? Personally, I think I like it. I like the director's choice. I mean, as long as Zack Snyder's behind him, pushing him, you know, trying to bring out the best of him, I think it'll be a, a great director's choice. So that's my thoughts. And as Carl Urban, I'm all for it. Bring it on, Carl Urban. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bring him in the movie. We'll see what happens. But let me know your thoughts down below. And it's your boy R2 reminding you to stay nerdy, my friends.